So this star sailing has been running for 25,000 hours straight. And this is what happened. So I'm here to answer all your questions about how the star sailing has been holding up after almost three years of it being on. Now I left this running. I don't turn it off. I leave it running. So it's been running for 25,000 hours plus. So I'm going to get into a lot of the things that y'all been really wanting to know about the star sailing after it's been running for almost three years. Plus at the end of this video, I'm going to give you one thing that I had no idea was going to happen. So first, a lot of the people were concerned with this being a potential fire hazard. You know, safe to say no fires, no burning. Actually the fiber optics do not even get hot. So if you know what a fiber optic is, all it is is a plastic, pretty much like a plastic fishing line with a light shining at the end of it. So if you ever went to the circus back in the day, it's like one of those toys that had like a light in it and then a little uh, fiber optics coming out of it, same thing. So not enough heat to have any potential fires or anything like that. So that's something that you don't really have to worry about. Another big question is sagging. Did it start to sag? And yes, there is a, a bit of sagging. As you can see here, there's a little bit of uh, sagging towards the middle of it. Um, now, of course, this could be fixed by uh, tightening up the staples that you'd use on the side of it. This pretty much happens because the weight of the middle of the uh, fabric starts to sag down and starts to pull on those staples. But I think after three years, the saggage is pretty much at a minimum. So uh, nothing that I would really be concerned with. Um, something that you maybe could do to kind of minimize this if you haven't done this project yet is put a few extra staples around the outside when you first put it on to give it a little bit more strength against that center weight pulling down. Third thing glue so when i originally did this product i did not glue the fiber optic lines in place so of course if you start to get a little bit of sag in it then those fiber optics will move so what i did was after the fact and i'll show you a clip of it here i actually glued it on the outside of the fiber optic panel instead of on the inside because of course that would require me to take the whole panel down and it actually gave the lights a little bit more pop. So uh, you put that glue at the end of each fiber optics on the outside and it makes each light look a little bit bigger. So of course you can do the hot glue on the inside if you don't want to see it, but I also think it looks good on the outside. So I'm curious to see what y'all think about that in the comment section. Let me know if you prefer it on the outside or the inside. I went with the outside and I think it looks pretty good. So another thing, um, there was a failure. So the LED strip that I put around the perimeter of the star ceiling did die on me. And this actually happened less than a year into the star ceiling running. Uh, the issue with that was I just used a regular cheap Amazon LED strip, which I shouldn't have did. So um, I did have to end up replacing it with a Govee strip, which has been running now for about two years and haven't had any issues with it. Also, of course, with the Govee lights, you can control them through the app. So it's a lot more accessible to me to be able to change the colors. And it also has a little controller that I have hanging out the front of the panel if I just wanna go and hit the button and change it by hand. So one comment that I was getting a lot of in the comments that actually had me concerned because I didn't even think about it when I was uh, doing the ceiling was, it's gonna be a breeding ground for spiders. And safe to say, haven't experienced that at all. Now, depending on where you are in the country, this may be different. If you already have an, a, a spider problem at your home, then I can see how this would be a bad place. Well. I can see how this would be a good place for spiders to try to nest. So if you are, if you are in one of those environments, I would recommend just getting something to seal over the top on the backside. Now, one thing that does kind of concern me now with the star ceiling after it's been running for 25,000 hours is the actual motor for the star ceiling. So if you can see how the lights twinkling, that's ran by a motor and I am starting to hear that motor. Now, if I'm watching a movie and I'm watching TV, it's not loud enough to where I would hear it over that. But if I have the TV off and I'm trying to sleep, you do hear that 
that motor sound running, which I don't remember hearing that at the beginning. So of course the motor can be turned off, but then you won't have your twinkle. Something you might want to think about, maybe not having that motor running all the time because it's starting to make a little bit of noise and that does concern me a little bit. Now to the thing that I didn't really think about when I first made this design, but has been a major plus. This star ceiling has doubled the quality of the sound in my home theater. So it's almost acting like a big acoustic panel. Of course, you have the fiber optic, you have the cloth, then you have the felt uh, behind it, which absorbs a lot of sound. So if you know anything about treating your room, you don't wanna have too many hard surfaces because you'll get that echo, you'll get the sound bouncing against the walls and you'll hear that echo type of sound. But this star ceiling fixes a lot of that. Now, of course, I do have some sound panels throughout the wall but I, I found a big difference from before to after I start the star panels with the sound quality in the room. So if you're trying to upgrade your audio, you got uh, you know a home theater system, you got some speakers, this is definitely gonna upgrade that sound. So if y'all have any other questions about the star ceiling, definitely don't hesitate to drop them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get to them. So I wanna thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next video.